Buongiorno everyone and welcome to the last player ratings of the season. Right, done it for a week like. <laughs> we it's on we <laughs> episode two, probably 30 years. We'll, we'll continue next season, uh, We'll be doing next season, so we kept on saying we're dating, we always forgot. And even after the day, the amount of fan counts we're doing. It's half right, six yeah, now, we're still here. Beautiful day for us, boys. Beautiful hell. day, St James's Park here. Beautiful result, Newcastle 3, Chelsea 0. Alright. Start for the team lineups. Uh, 10 for everyone, so see you there. <laughs> 10 for Greg's. 10, 10, 10. Uh, 10 front and deck. Well, actually, which one was the car crash? And. And. 10 for deck. 10 for deck. 7 for front. 7 for front. He's on the rise, you know what I mean? Uh, um, 10 for Cheryl Cole. Oh, uh, Cheryl's out was a 10. Aye, uh, Cheryl's a 10. Just give birth no legs to them. 10 for the Tame Bridge and 10 for the Millennium Bridge. Okay, now they see that. Uh, so, enjoy your summer. <laughs> Dubravka, 10. <laughs> Massive save again. Did everything I was asked for him. Kept another clean sheet against one of the best sides in the league. Well, we're the champions. Yeah. Uh, Yedlin. I don't really see that much. You put a couple of crosses in, just like you did the other day, but, like, like I don't want to, like, fuck the strikers too much because, like, they done well, but I was saying the other day, Gale and Perez are fucking midgets. Mm. So, like, Yedlin was putting a couple of good, like, high balls in, but, like, they aren't tall enough or strong enough to get on the end of them. Mm. So I don't know why they keep putting high balls in. Like that's why they need in the summer they need to sign a striker. Big striker. It was gonna be like a target man who was gonna get on the end of these crosses rather than like just cross them low. Like right. like drill them across. So Yellen had a decent game, like I, I can't even remember seeing him that much other than sticking a few high crosses in. Seven. Six. Six? Nah. Bit harsh. Clean sheet man. I, I think seven's a Good rating, like I say, like he, he, I didn't really say him that much, so I can't really say it. Okay. Six for Yedlin. Really I'll move on to Lascelles. Um, ten. <laughs> Did now wrong. Kept a clean sheet. Bossed the defence. Yeah. Led from the led from the outset. Uh, Chelsea didn't really press that much, other than uh, Ross Barkley. I know. Uh, Ross Barkley was the only strong link for me in Chelsea's squad. Other than that, like. Like, <laughs> I'm just feeling happy, just feeling generous. Everyone's gonna get ten. Everyone's Sunny get finished tenth in the league, so tenth is all round. Sun really, yeah. Lejeune. Sun. I just want to get for a pint. Uh, Lejeune, how good was he again the day? Yeah, yeah. Lejeune, like he's probably been like the buy of the season because, mm. like, let's face it, there hasn't been any. Like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, I'm not taking yeah, the yeah, loan, yeah, loan like, signs in like, January. Like, like, like process of elimination. Lejeune's <laughs> been the best buy of the season because like, everyone else has either been alone or yeah, fucking Hoslu. Aye. So like. <laughs> By process of elimination, like he really has been in. What was he? Eight million. Mm. To be fair, that's actually a kind of bargain in this like day and age in this current market. That's a great sign because nice. he has he has had a really good season. Like it took him a little while to get into it. I think like right. I think start of the se- wait. No one was really good at the start of the season. I think it took the whole team a little while to get into that stride. But once he had a few games under his belt, got to learn the English league. Uh, I think Lujan's had a fucking cracking season. He's been an absolute bargain at eight million. Out of the ten, the day. Uh, about an eight. Mm. Jordi Maldini, a left back, Paul Dummett. Uh, eight. Eight. I want to give tens to everyone, but eight. Again, did his job, solid, kept a clean sheet, bit going forward, got in there, but it's just the end product, and you kind of give you kind of give him a ten when he, you know, for the sake of it. Yeah. And I, I, like, that's why like, I, I'm struggling to rate the defenders highly because, like, like, say, like, really like, like, like other than like Ross Barkley pressing, like, anyone really did not. Mm. So I, I can't even really pick out positive moments for the defence because, like, Chelsea didn't really attack that well, so like, I, I can't really rate the back four that highly. That's why, like Annie said, like a six for Yedlin, I'd probably give the same to Dummett because seven or higher is a good rating in my book, and like he just didn't really show up that much because mm. that was not with really. <laughs> me. You know what I mean? Like, Jacob Murphy came in for Kennedy. You obviously couldn't play against his parent club Chelsea in last game, last appearance of the two in last week against Spurs. Where they were saying him in the summer is another. Fucking question for another video, but <laughs> yeah. Jacob Murphy came in. I mean, how do you think he done? Cracking, yeah. Like, like we was saying the other day, like if because uh, we knew Kendi wasn't playing, I would have wanted Murphy possibly at two, but I think Atsu's been injured, hasn't he? Aye. So yeah, like I've been calling for Murphy to come in all season. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Like he's got he's got pace. He's decent on the ball. He's got a bit of flair about him. He can get himself in the box. Like he's a good player. I don't know why he hasn't been playing that much like I think when Kennedy came in like his chances really depleted but even before then like he didn't really get much of a chance and, like, I don't know why because like, we most expensive like, saying this somewhere now isn't it I mean like, yeah. you say Lejeune's only 8 maybe no, he was 12 nah uh, yeah uh, like spent a lot of money on him haven't even played him but we were saying like 
he, he might be a Southern now, but he's a Newcastle fan. Mm. Like that's what I think. That's what this club needs. They need pictures, someone. not kit. Yeah, a kit. Know, Christmas, right. Christmas gifts. Like they need Him someone. Him and uh, Josh, a bit of passion. Like we were saying, like trying to get the academy through. But I don't think the academy is performing that well at the minute. But at least like Murphy may be a Southern now, but he was born and bred a Newcastle mm. fan. I think his mum was from fucking Ashton or something. Like. So give, give him a gun because people that are, like support the team they're playing for are going to give 110%. And I think that's what Murphy does. Like You might not always show it, but I think he's got a lot of flair. He's good on the ball, very fast. And best of all, he supports the club. Mm. So he needs more of a chance. Done really well today. I would give him uh, seven, maybe an eight. But uh, I, like, I'd like to see him a bit more of him next season. And Sonny's brother. Because he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's unreal. Scores will, he's <laughs> I know. On the other wing, Matt Ritchie, I'd give him an 8 of the day. Yeah. I think it was solid from Ritchie again. You know what you're going to get? Absolute graft. Yeah. It's all you're going to get from him. And, and an end product a lot of the time as well. Like a mm. Great left foot on him. He tried a few things the day, whip balls in and that. And I think he had a, you know, another typical Ritchie performance. Yeah. Very, very good. 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'd agree with that. You've got a hairy mic. Tastes like strawberry as well, apparently. Mm. Lovely. Probably a fly <laughs> on it. All the flies the day. <laughs> Fucking hell, what's been going on with that? Do you know me? I don't like giving people tens. Well, where am I? Last game of the season, just be Chelsea three 0 man. Finish nah. tenth in the league. I'd, Get the tens out. I'd, I'd give the army a nine. Like he was fucking solid as he has been for a lot. He, he made N'Golo Kante look shit. He robbed N'Golo like, Kante loads. And, and, and I can't is a midget, but uh, <laughs> like N'Golo, like um, sorry, uh, who was talking about? Johnny. 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 Vieira. <laughs> I know, Johnny Vieira. He's fucking solid. Like that was a bit like. Uh, Kante had the ball like only like 20 25 yards away like from like Chelsea's goal and like Diame just fucking shrugged him off he's like get out of the way you prick and like created a chance like he just <laughs> absolutely made a mug of him and he was like that all game just strong win the ball decent passing nice nah, like kind of rating 10 9 9 Shelby his partner in crime I'm yeah. going to give him a 10 and he's going to be seat number 10 <laughs> on that flight to Russia Got, to, got to be Got to be Southgate Announces his squad next Wednesday And surely Shelby's got to be in there Dominated the game the day for us He was unlucky He had a few that went wide yeah. Good efforts Perez Goal poached Mooched his goal off him uh, Vital little touch that, But that was like me in primary school Like I, I had Shelby like. from outside the area 16-1 to one. Perez you cunt <laughs> Didn't know if was going wide or not Didn't care <laughs> Should let it go Should let it go <laughs> But Shelby gets a 10 for me Dominated midfield Ah The Geordie Woo man's Best player for Newcastle. Uh, I Jose Perez in the number 10 role. Shit, mate. A brace today for him. How was he for, for you out of 10? Uh, really good. Like, compared to what we've seen the other day, like, he's just getting out muscled on the ball. Everything he'd done, like, he just couldn't get a hold of. Like, passing was shit, shooting was shit. But today, it totally changed game. Like, he didn't really have a great lot of chances, but what he did have, he put away. Mm. Like, it's another two goals to his collection. He's finished the season top scorer, I think. I think so. Yeah. Well, even if he hasn't, like, well, I think he will be. But uh, the vital goals that he scored the last couple of months, man, I, yeah. I think he's got six goals in eight games. He's, he's scored some huge match winners. Uh, the last few months, like, he has turned around fucking leaps and bounds. And over the last three months, if you were the Spain manager out of uh, Morata's performances, who would he take the World Cup? Aye, nah. Perez uh, to uh, Russia. Nah. You'll see Perez for the World Cup, man, I'm telling you. Fucking Morata, 75 million, absolute. Dog balls. <laughs> uh, like, no, honestly, I'd rather have fucking Perez at the minute. Now, now he's got a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. He needs to hit the gym out of the summer. He needs to get himself beefed up a bit. Practice hitting the target a bit more. And if he comes back next season, could he get another, like 15 goals. Mm. Like, uh, Newcastle will still need a striker. But like, I wouldn't like to say them sell Perez because like, he does offer a lot. Like he has this season and last season. Like, he, he offers a lot. Like when he has bad days, my god, he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like this season, he's had a lot of good days. And like a lot of people hammer Jolly Wu man saying he's like the best thing we got. That was a joke, by the way. But, <laughs> but he, he honestly really is like, <laughs> like hug you lately. highest scorer in the in the league this season. He's crept into Newcastle's top twenty goal scorers in the Premier League era, like of the history. Like, how, how can people still like criticize him? Like Dwight Gale, who was leading the lane the day, got on the score sheet. <laughs> Finally. Three in twenty eight or something. Uh, something like that. <laughs> Two in twenty four or something. I mean Jesus Christ, he's missed some setters lately, but at least he got on the score sheet the day. He's, he's natural instinct. Yeah, poaching, right. he, yeah, he, yeah. he did the job there. He got the goal, so I'd give him a I'd give him an eighth, I'll be generous. 
I'm seven or an eight. I'll give him an eight. Yeah, yeah. Got his goal. Did the usual thing where he, you know he makes runs. He's he's a threat. He causes problems, which then gives other players the opportunity to get on the ball and give, get us on the attack. But he actually put the ball in the back of the net today, so eight yeah. out of ten. I think the art of a goal poach has dying as well. Like oh. like back in the day, like 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 Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and uh, Van Nistelrooy and that for Man United. Like that, that's what they were unreal. That's just. Mm. Been in the right place at the right time, simple little tap ins, unbelievable. And like now, like people want to spend like 75 million on Morata because they can do this, that, and the other. But like Gale's just good at poaching, mm. just get himself in the six yard box and just mooch on little goals like he did the day. Moochie, like easy little mooch mooch, like just fucking <laughs> just mooch it in. Easy man, like he, I like because he's not he's not fantastic, like he's not worth that much money because like, like he's a lot like Perez, like he's not strong in the box he's a bit short but like just getting in the right place at the right time mm-hmm. he's, he's he's got a knack for that so he hasn't shown it too much this season as well. he's got three goals or something but uh, if he can do that a bit more like, like Perez like they've all got work to do but if they show what they can do a little bit more like Niazzo will be in a such better position than they are now mm-hmm. we'll round up the subs then um, Hosselu came on Isaac Hayden came on Diarmi came off to a great round of applause thoroughly deserved was that it? Was the two subs? Hedara. And Hedara, who we haven't seen. I know, no, 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 son. So them three came on. I mean, there wasn't much time for them. Yeah. They dished them out the usual substitutes. I mean, Hoslu, fucking awful. Hoslu played in a really good cross, to be fair. Like, uh, oh, he did? I wasn't thinking any score yeah, that Pe- was. Pe- Perez nearly got his hat trick on us. So it's fucking an unbelievable cross. Ten. Hey, where's that been? Ten for Hoslu. <laughs> Keg's only number ten today. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll give him a bit of a six or a seven. Yes. And uh, yeah. did, did we really see Hayden or... Uh, I can't really recall. Hedora touching the ball. Uh, I didn't really see either of them. Like, I quite like Hedora, though. Like, he's another, like, flary left back. Mm. Like... Like I wouldn't even see enough of him from me for Newcastle. He's had troubles with injuries, like yeah, he's had a lot of injury problems. Even when he is fit, like I think he's lost his place to Paul Dummett now. But I, I like him, mate. Like mm. he's, he's he's got a lot about him. I, I like him. Well, that'll round it up then for this season's pair of ratings. Full two episodes. We'll be back next year. But we'll tune in. Check all the fan comments from the day and whatnot. We we'll have a podcast coming on Wednesday, midweek magpie. So tune in for that. And remember, enjoy yourself.